Howdy. Wow, it's been a while. All right, well, I have a uh, new short story that I wrote recently. It's called The Poacher. So, a poacher was captured in the woods and brought to a local nobleman for punishment. This nobleman was bored and wanted to amuse himself by challenging the poacher. I'm going to move this just because it's a thing and it's here. You have been caught stealing one of my deer. The punishment for that is death. But I'm in the mood to be entertained. If you can convince me to spare your life, then you can go free. Now the poacher paused for a moment. This was most unexpected. After a moment, he thought, it's not really your deer. What do you mean it's not my deer? It's in my woods. Well, sire, it's not really your woods. What do you mean? It's not my woods. I own this. No, if you would just grant me a chance to explain my point, I'm sure I could be some entertainment for you. You see, do you tell the trees to grow, sire? Well, no, of course not. What difference does that make? Well, sire, do you order the deer to have their children? Certainly not. What's the point of all this? How does any of this give you the right to steal my deer? Well, my lord, it's not your forest, and they're, they're not your deer. How can you claim something you can't even control? I certainly didn't claim them. I mean, I killed one deer. I'm also starving, as are my children. I, I killed that deer, and I'm not entirely sure I'm even worthy of what it would have given to me. I just hoped that I could have turned that gift into something amazing with my family. Sadly, that's all wasted now. Because of your soldiers, that deer lies rotting in the woods, and my kids will likely die of starvation or neglect. I'll be dead by morning. You won't be affected, of course, except for a little entertainment on at my expense. You see, um, I killed that deer, and I, I thanked it for its sacrifice. Well, it may not have meant anything to something already dead, but it meant something to me because I valued what it gave up. When was the last time, sire, that you thanked some poor chap that you killed on the battlefield just so you could live in this place? For that matter, when was the last time you thanked any of your men for the sacrifices they give every day for you? You sit here in your ivory tower, claiming everything and giving nothing. I give you safety. My guards make sure you don't fear for your lives. My army protects your house. You come in here, having stolen from me, claiming that you can tell me how I should run this land. You are an ingrate. My lord, you are mistaken. I have never seen your guard until after the bandits have left. Your army shows up after my house has been torched. You have given me nothing. Everything I have is something I have made for myself. I don't mean to seem ungrateful, my lord. It's just I have nothing to be grateful for. And I certainly don't want to take anything from you, because I would not want anything taken from me. That deer might have died of old age if I hadn't killed it. And you would never even have given it a second thought. And now, because of your soldiers, it's rotting in the woods. My kids are dead. I'm dead. The only thing we've lost in total is a deer what would you accuse me of, sire? The Lord fumed for a while and then stood up and ordered his guards to take the man to the dungeon. That night, he paced for hours and hours, often stopping to look out the window at the forest beyond. When dawn broke, he called the poacher back in front of him. He looked at the poacher intently and then stood and bowed to him. I bow because you have done what none of my men would dare. 
you have humbled me. I didn't sleep at all last night. I feel I place in this world has been lost. Your words reminded me that I am mortal and no better or worse than any of the men in my charge. Yes, you are right. I can kill and destroy everything in this land, but I cannot control the life of anything. I fear that I have a lot to learn. Therefore, I am releasing you with no charges. My kitchen will compensate you for what we have wasted on this ordeal. And so, go now and try to be happy. Thank you. <laughs>